So making realistic grass in Blender is super easy, and I'm going to show you how. First of all, you need to make a new material. Add a noise texture and set the scale to about 200. Set the detail to zero and the roughness to zero. After that, add a color ramp. And plug the FAC into the FAC and then the color into the base color. You're going to set the color ramp to constant, bring your white down to about 0.5 and then pick some grass like colors. This is the hex code for the lighter color that I use. And this is the hex code for the darker color. The next thing to do is add a particle system. We're going to change this to hair from top to bottom. We're going to hit the advanced button. Next, we're going to change the number from 1000 to 10,000. We're going to change the hair length to 0.1. You can see already that it's starting to look a little bit grass like, but we're nowhere near finished. In the physics tab, we're going to change the forces, the Brownian to 0.1. That'll give us a bit of chaos. In the render settings, we're going to change it to interpolated in the children section. Clumping, we're going to pump right the way up to 1. In the hair shape settings, we're going to change the diameter root to 0.5 and the tip to 0.25. So now you can see we've got some pretty awesome looking grass. Now, if you wanted to get some kind of football field painted effect, all you need to do is draw out where you want the lines in a new image. So to demonstrate, I'm just going to make a spot. We'll pretend that's where the, the football goes or something. And then you come back over to your shader and all you want to do is add in your image with your mapping nodes, plug both of the colors from your noise texture and your image texture into a mixed RGB node, pub that into the shader and set the mixed based on the alpha. So as you can see now, that looks like it's been spray painted onto the grass. Other things you can do is you can change the specular and the roughness in the shader to, for example, represent whether the grass is wet or not. So a higher specular would result in a more wet looking grass. So we can see here a very dry looking grass, whereas here, it's more wet. So you can apply this to any, any surface that you want and it will give you that grass effect. So if you found this useful, then hit that thumbs up button and YouTube will start recommending you more Blender content just like this. If you wanna see more content from me, then hit that subscribe button and YouTube will send more content from me when it feels it's right for you. All right, I hope that helps. I will see you in the next one.